everybody. This is that German guy, Josh Runquist, and I'm here with Bog from Decapitated. How's it going, man? Oh, it's going very, very cool. Uh, you, so much. Great tour, great time. Oh, yeah. And you just got done playing a little bit ago. Uh, Baroness just got done with their set, but you played before them, and you played an amazing tour. Yeah, thank you so much. So thanks again, man. Uh, 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 yeah, I think it was good, good show, you know. Uh, good PA in the venue. And, you know, good crowd. I didn't expect. We played so early. We played 6, 6 p.m. And people like it. Oh, absolutely. So, so how's the tour been so far? It's amazing. I can say on only this floor. It's, it's just amazing because this tour is smart. It's smart about the logistics thing. Like, you know, they open doors at 6, we play at 7. I, I can feel that the lining band, the sugar, they, they take care about to do tour in the way, the 100 professional way. So, you know, like they care about supporting bands. So everyone can feel great on the tour. Oh, very much so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and how do you like the build? I mean, having you and Baroness opening up all the I think it's uh, great because we we are the opening band and we represent like you know we give lots of energy like our music kind of death metal style like starting very very hard very heavy very fast music. And then Baron is take, taking people to more chill out, play, love music. So they preparing for Meshuga because, and then Meshuga is just like a plan. So heavy, you know, Meshuga is like so good music. So heavy, and it's like a. Like metal band, but like also like something like which is not connected with metal. Like they represent, they have their own style that play like beautiful music, unbelievable music. But they have roots connected with metal. And yeah, yeah, this lineup on this tour, I think it's. I'm very happy. I'm very happy that uh, I don't know if, if that was that was the decision of Mashuga, like taking us to the band or management or wherever, you know. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. We had good time here. We very much enjoy. We try to do the best. Happy, the most happy sound every night and. Uh, Oh, it, it definitely showed the night. I mean, every, the whole half hour that you guys played was just like humbling, and then yeah, it just got everything going for uh, your uh, career too. Like uh, when you played Spears at the end, the entire crowd just went insane. And I was yeah, like, I could call it. Yeah, yeah, I saw. It. Yeah, I was just on the outside of the mosh pit, and I was just getting pushed into and everything. It was just really cool. Uh, and, uh, speaking of, uh, this is a uh, a year and a half since uh, Carmel's Forever came out, right about? Uh, one year, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. one year? Okay. Yeah. So, so how's that been going so far, like uh, playing the new album compared to like, the classics that people may know? Mm. Uh, I think you sound sounding uh, the best live, but all stuff we need to play, because we like to play new stuff. And without the old songs, we are not, not the same band. And I know people want to see, want to hear the old, old stuff really, really much. So we did, for this tour, we did a half an hour set, which includes six songs, and three of them are new, and three of them are old. And I think it's good to compromise. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is a good 50-50, I mean, like showcasing the new album and showcasing some of the best of the old You know what? They just started. They, they just put the intro on, and I just can't wait to see what you guys think. Oh, yeah. I'm show you guys. Yeah, as soon, as soon as it's done, I can't wait to see it. So, uh, what do you have planned after the tour? Uh, we're going to South America, five shows, Brazil, Chile. Uh, and there will be Japan, I 
Asian countries and also Tibet. No, not Tibet. Uh, I forget right now. <laughs> That's never a problem, though. Uh, Nepal. We will play oh, Nepal. Nepal. Okay. Nepal, yeah. Kind of interesting thing, yeah. And um, then we are uh, we're playing in October. We want to come back to the US. And then we want to do European, do European tour. But it's still, uh, you know, not confirmed. So you know, it's not sustainable. But it's, it's just next. This, this year and the end of the year is all about playing shows, playing playing uh, promote arguments forever. Which, which is an amazing album, by the way. Yeah, and then we'll see. So, uh, I'm sure it's a little too early to tell, but uh, are you guys working on anything for the new album? I just start to think about that. Like, how it's supposed to sound, the new the rapper, how it's supposed to sound, like, how, which, which song we should supposed to play. We'll see. We'll see, I never know before I start to create I have, let's say I have, like, a couple of ideas for this song, but it's still, like, near future. Yeah, no, no. Uh, going outside the cafe, are, are you planning on doing any more work with Vader or any other bands in the future? No, 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 no. Uh, I, was, I play with Vader, I did so much shows with those guys, and uh, amazing, amazing time. Oh, yeah. And uh, right now, you yeah, have big updates, it takes all my time. Yeah. Understandable, so. Yeah, yeah, it, you know, it, it takes so much time if you have your band, like, playing out on the board and, uh, I mean, just going on the tour bus with the band takes a lot out of you, just from that. And then let alone playing shows and everything else. Yeah. Very understandable. Yeah, yeah. It's 24 hour job. Oh, yeah. yeah. Play music. Yeah. So, uh, um, since you've written Carnival, has there been any new bands or any new inspirations uh, in your style or even just to listen to? Uh, I know what you're saying, but. I think I feel more in the, in the old school stuff, like I was listening when I was young, but what do you think?
time I'm still a kind of young person, so when I look for bands like uh, Motorhead,